Yeah, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again. This is BVI Channel 1 on the platform where you get nothing but undiluted truth. And in confirmation with what I've been saying, that the man that is occupying our rock, that went to UN, is the puppet of the West, particularly France. As Tinubu uh, was called upon to address United Nations, you will wonder, in fact, you'll be forgiven if you think that Nigeria had become a French colony from the way he was introduced to the content of what he delivered, which we believe is handed over to him from Emmanuel Macron of France. We're going to listen to him. I'll be right back. Protocol to escort His Excellency. On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor... La bienvenue of welcoming à son excellence, His Excellency, Monsieur Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Président et commandant en chef des forces armées de la République fédérale du Nigeria, et je l'invite à prendre la parole devant l'Assemblée. Monsieur le Président, Head of State and Government, Secretary General, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the people of Nigeria, I congratulate you on your well-deserved election as the president of this session of the United Nations General Assembly. This is my first address before the General Assembly. Permit me to say a few words on behalf of Nigeria, my country, on behalf of Africa, my continent, regarding this year's theme, many proclamations have been made, yet our troubles remain close at hand. Failures in good governance have ended Africa, but broken promises, unfair treatment, and outright exploitation from abroad have also exerted a heavy toll on our ability to progress. Given this long history, if this year's theme is to mean anything at all, it must mean something special and particular to Africa. To foster economic growth and investors' confidence in Nigeria, I removed the costly and corrupt fuel subsidy while also discarding a nauseous exchange rate system in my first few days in office. Military coups are wrong, as in any titled civilian political arrangement that is, we perpetuate injustice. The wave-crossing part of Africa does not demonstrate favor for towards coup. It is a demand for solution to perennial problem. Let us dig it deeper. This brings me to my third crucial point. Our entire region is locked in protected battle against violent extremists. And the turmoil, a dark channel of inhuman commerce, has formed. Along the route, everything is for sale. Men, women, and children are seen as chattel. Yet, thousands read the Sahara, hot and sun, and the Mediterranean cold death in search of a better life. At the same time, machineries and extremists with their lethal weapons and vile ideologies invade our region from the north. This harmful traffic undermines the peace and stability of the entire region. African nation will improve our economics so that our people do not risk their life 
to sweep the floors and streets of other nations. We also shall devote ourselves to disbanding extremist groups on our toes. Yet, to fully contain this threat, the international community must strengthen its commitment to arrest the flow of arms and violent people into West Africa. As I'm about to close, let me emphasize that Nigeria's objective accord with the guiding principles of this world body. Peace, security, human rights, and development. In fundamental ways, nature has been kind to Africa. Given abundant land, resources, and creative and industrious people, yet man has too often, man has too often been unkind to a fellow man, and this sad tendency has brought, uh, brought sustained hardship to Africans' doorstep. We do not wish to replace old shackles with new ones. Instead, we hope to walk the rich African soil and live under the magnificent African sky, free of the wrongs of the past and clear of the associated encumbrances. We desire a beautiful, prosperous, vibrant, democratic living space for our people. We will do it. To the rest of the world, I say, work with us as true friends and partners. Africa is not a problem to be avoided, nor is it to be pitied. Africa is nothing less than the key to the world's future. I thank you for listening. Can you imagine what I can summarize from this whole statement of um, Tinubu at the UN is hearing the voice of Emmanuel Macron from the body of Tinubu in the name of delivering speech. Why would the person that was introducing Tinubu be using um, fr French instead of English? And now, from the background, you'll be hearing the interpretation in English. Then, Tinubu started goofing out, talking about um, coup in Niger Republic. Is that the problem of Nigeria, as we speak now? Is that the problem that Nigerian people are facing today? Is that part of the um, uh, his... Um, he will say, oh, that is part of his um, the, uh, Nigeria's diplomatic uh, or foreign policy in ECOWAS and the rest of them. Because he is now taking the position of the chairman of uh, uh, ECOWAS. But the truth of the matter is that the Niger Republic coup is more democratic than the election that brought Tinubu into power, that forced Tinubu upon Nigerians as an illegitimate government. And he has the effrontries to say that, hey, the, the, the coups and whatever. And he will open his mouth to talk about um, you know, this kind of um, mercenary or sponsoring of uh, uh, terrorist organizations and sex and uh, illegal or illicit uh, trade of arms in Africa. Somebody that is talking about the Ill Ill illegality is a product of illegality. That is the one that even scratched my brain. And that is what many people are, in fact, many people that are looking at him there knew that this man is not a legitimate president. And he said know it. Even the way he was delivering the speech, his body language shows that clearly we are not supposed to be there. 
Hi. Anyways, I just wanted to bring this update to you guys so that you will tell me what do you think about his statement at the UN General Assembly. I'll be right back again on other videos. You need to watch what Obasanjo said. And that is what will be coming next. Share this video and let's have your thoughts on this on the comment section. Bye-bye for now.